It's crazy. Yeah, that's, it's your shot. shot. Okay. That's dope, man. So, like, was if if somebody wanting to get into stocks out there, mm-hmm. they're not educated about stocks. Mm-hmm. Of course, they can do some of their own research. Mm-hmm. But what what are some tips or keys they they need to look for? Is it like researching? The company, like what, what, what would you advise them on doing to start educating yourself on stocks? So what I've done is probably gonna be different than anybody. So what I did was I Googled. I Googled um Warren Buffett, I Googled um Mark Cuban, I Googled all the rich people, all the rich people, everybody at the top. So I Googled all these people, and guess what? I Googled their stocks. Because you can Google their network. Okay. And you can Google every stock that they got. So I took the top 10 people, Google all their stocks, right? And then I got a, I got a uh, notebook. Wrote at least, I think it was like 30 stocks. Wrote all 30 stocks down. Took the 30 stocks. I called my wife, uncle, Uncle Ed. Hey, I'm going to be in Pensacola. I want to sit down with you. I need, I need to go over these stocks. Got to his house. He said, okay. This is the top 10 companies, PJ, that's not going nowhere. We took the top 10. And once again, Apple was at the top. Microsoft. All these companies. Google. They was at the top because they run the internet. Mm-hmm. What, where do we work at right now? Online. So everything got to go through the internet. Everything online. Um, and all I did was take all that information that they had and put my money with it. You know, most people don't put their money... They mock with their money. I put it with it, and you know it pays off. You gotta, you gotta put your money in yourself. You know what I'm saying? So all the research I did, all I did was Google everything online. It's black and white. So if they, if they say to have their money there, why would mine be? <laughs> Does that, that, that make sense? And that made perfect so, sense. You know, it don't take a, a rocket science. It don't take that out, man. It don't. Follow the money trail, man. Do what I'm others have to. Yep. Yeah, you saw it. Do what other 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 people are doing. Another thing with um, like real estate, I tell people too, bro. It's a lot like stocks. Mm-hmm. Like it is. Anytime you put your money in real estate, mm-hmm. it's gonna keep going up. It is. Like look at what prices were five years ago, ten years ago. Look at what prices are now. It's gonna keep going up. They said it was a twenty percent increase. Yep. I was just looking online for the houses in downtown, so I could only imagine what's going on when you go and try to purchase a house. They they gonna hit you over the head. You might get that. You might have to get a home buyer credit, but that's about that's about it. Yep. And, so, and even like a lot of the stuff that I've done because when I got in real estate, I got into an agent. Mm-hmm. I started buying and flipping. And it's cool to get them checks, 50, 100, mm-hmm. 200, mm-hmm. you know, you reinvest it. But when I stop and pause, all the checks that I, if you say, man, what did I do with that check that I made for 200? I probably reinvested, spent some, mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't go crazy with it, but I still can't tell you what I did with that money. Gotcha. But the properties that I've kept, I can just see. Can see it. So I like my money, my money has an address. Correct. You know? And so I, I think with stocks or real estate, people just have to stop thinking about short, short term, term and start thinking about long term. Because if you buy a house and you can make fifty thousand right now, seventy five thousand dollars right now, mm-hmm. imagine if you held that shit for ten years. That fifty might be two hundred, three hundred. You're right. You know. You're right. So everything in terms of investing is not going to be an overnight success story. Correct. It's about making smart investments. Mm -hmm. If it's stocks, of course, having good companies you invest in. If it's real estate, invest in an area that's going to appreciate, understanding what's coming to the area Mm -hmm. and all those things. Like even down in like Henry County, Mm -hmm. we couldn't have predicted it was going to do what it was going to do. You look at Crystal Lake prices in 2017 was, you know, after 350. Yeah. You're gonna pay at least six fifty six, seven. seven or now. If you're on the lake, you might pay eight, eight or nine. A lot Why of meal? That is true. So it's just it's just about the long term, man. I think one of the things that of course we as a people gotta do is stop thinking about the quick bag and thinking about the long term money with our investments, man. Because you build wealth long term. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you make the money short term, but it's about that long term play. 
Yeah. I it's think right now, I'm getting, to be honest with you, people are people out there scared with their money. Like they scared. Like yeah, even even if you can make fifty grand, six months, a year, they not looking at what it's gonna take to get or how long they. Most people, millennials, they want their money now. Yeah. They don't want to wait. And that's that's the uh, society, you know, that's what society is at. Everybody want to quit. And nothing is quick. Nothing's overnight. Everything that you got to go through, it's going to take some time. It's going to take time if you want to get that real bag. It's going to take time. Like in the stock market. I, I mean, I can sit here and tell you, hey, I made a million. I made this and that. But guess what? That was 20 years ago. It took me to do it. Yeah. You know, it didn't take, I didn't do it. I didn't do it right. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I'm on a I'm day trading. I made a thousand dollars. Oh, I made two thousand. But guess what? You gotta have ten or fifteen thousand dollars to make two or three thousand dollars. So most of the day traders, they ain't telling you that they gotta, you know, they done pulled all the money out of their credit card. Yeah. They done they done, they done paid ten thousand dollars just to get into day trading. So, you know, they they ain't gonna tell you that. They just Oh, I made I made a thousand dollars a day. Yeah, but you gotta go put all that money back on that credit card. You know, it's it's yeah. a game. Everybody know, you know. So, you know, people use their credit to make money, but it's great. But you also gotta be able to take that money out too to be able to enjoy. It. So, you know, but scared money don't make no money. Nope. You know, I know Fact. that. You know, you can't be scared. If you got a bag, you know, and however you got that bag, you took risk getting it. So just don't be afraid and just take risks. You got to. You know, that's the only way to success. Because guess what? If I hadn't bought them stocks and I ain't do what I'm doing, I would I would have been sitting on the sideline looking crazy. So, you know. Yeah, I was talking to a dude about day trading because I don't really, you know, I'm not big into stocks. Mm-hmm. And um, after our conversation, I left, I was like, damn, he day trading but he also holding long-term stuff. Correct. I'm buying the, the houses, but I'm also, it's almost the same, the same thing. thing. It's the same it's thing. It's the same thing. They Real estate, like flipping houses. It's the same, you know? exact same thing. But anything you do is going to be risky. Like the real mm-hmm. estate, you can be in the middle of flipping houses and rates can go up. Yeah, you can so the numbers can change. Correct. But it's at the same time, you just got to say, okay, the market change, I might can't get what I want out of it and mm-hmm. hold it. Mm-hmm. And then two, three years down the line, you're gonna end up being better off for it anyhow. Correct. But it's almost the same concept, just understanding, you know, people just gotta understand their exit strategies. Yeah. I just think most people that's in any kind of business, you gotta have multiple streams of income. Yeah. Like if you're in real estate, you gotta have something back in that real estate, even though it's it's a long term yeah. play with stock. So me. Personally, I I put my money everywhere. If I, if if you got to play, all right, Gene, whatever your play is, I'm with you. I know you're solid. I know the game is good. So if my boy say, hey, man, I'm going to do this right here, what you think about it? Oh, it sound good? Hey, let's give it a try. I mean, you just got to roll the dice because if you don't roll the dice, you'll never know if you can get, you know what I'm saying, what, what what's on the other side of those dice. So I'm a, I'm a real bit, you know, uh, Gambler, when I when I roll, I'm a, I don't know if I'm a hit, but guess what? If I hit, hey, I did it. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta roll like uh, dice through life. So, you know, I don't even really call it gambling, man. It's, it's just not, it's not. you doing your, you you doing your research on the companies. You taking time to have some understanding. You're not just boom, just oh, yeah. throwing it out there. And even in, with investing. You know, whether it's the company or the person or whatever, mm-hmm. you're always doing your own research. So I wouldn't say it's necessarily gambling, but people do got to understand and have some type of knowledge of what they are investing in, man. And like you said before, everybody want it now. Yeah. KP said this all the time, bro. We live in a, a microwave society. Hey, you know, five minutes, 15. And the problem with social media, yeah. like, you they got like 21, 22 year old kids thinking they're gonna be a millionaire and they yeah. depressed because they not driving a Rolls Royce. Like we in our forties and it took us years, years. to get to years. It years. took us years. years. I didn't even go out of the country until I was like my early thirties. I ain't go to Disney World until I was twenty five years old. <laughs> <laughs> you was growing up. 
Disney World. I, I took my kids to Disney World. This is my first time going. <laughs> Now, when I was a kid, I would love to, I would have, man, my parents wouldn't take me, they ain't got the money. Yeah. So, you know, but I want to, I want to make their dreams come true. So, you know, anything that they want to do in their little, hey, when you want to go here? Okay, if it's in my power, we go. 